Potty training takes vigilance, patience, commitment, and it takes a definite routine. Potty training is going to take you several weeks of being very vigilant and really on top of your puppy. In the beginning, a schedule I like to keep is first thing in the morning, generally around 6 a.m., I get up, I pick the puppy up, I've had him sleep in a crate, and I take him outside to where I'm going to have him go to the bathroom. I carry him out and I put him down on the spot I want him to go. Typically, if he's been asleep in his crate and you pick him up and you carry him out, he's going to go almost immediately when you put him down. I'm going to name it. I'm going to say potty, good potty. You can use whatever word you want to. I like potty. After that, I bring him inside and then I give him breakfast. And after breakfast, maybe give him just maybe five or ten minutes and I take him outside again carrying him outside, I put him down on the lawn or the flower bed or the piece of the area of gravel or the fake grass or any number of situations, but I put him on that spot. And again, I'll say, go potty. And when he goes potty, then I will pet him and praise him. If I have a little treat, I'll give him a little treat. Then after that, I will bring him in or, you know, take him for a little walk. And then, but after about a half an hour, then I will give him an opportunity to go potty one more time. After he goes the third time, and by then he should have pooped and pottied a couple times, I will feel pretty confident that he can probably stay in his crate up to two hours without having to go again. Or I can bring him in the house and engage him in some play and do some things with him where I can watch him and monitor his every move and feel confident that probably for the next two hours I'm safe and he's not going to go to the bathroom in the house. I recommend that for every month that a puppy is, he can go an hour. So for example, if he's two months old, he can probably hold it for two hours. If he's three months old, he can hold it for three hours. A couple other things to be aware of is if you can't be there to take your puppy out every two hours minimum, then you need to have it arranged with somebody, a member of the family or somebody who's going to come in to take your puppy out every two hours to pick them up, physically take them out to the spot where you've decided they're to go and to encourage them to do their business. It's imperative that you don't let the puppy have free reign of the house when you first get him. He doesn't understand how to come and get you and ask to go out, nor does he have the control to wait for very long. When a puppy has to go, it's immediate. So you need to only have him loose when you can give him your full attention, and you need to keep him in your sight at all time because it happens so quickly. It's really important when you're potty training your puppy that you understand that you can't let your puppy run loose in the house. You need to keep him in sight. So you can't be in one room and have your puppy in the other room. It's a recipe for disaster. So you want to make sure, even if you have him in a designated puppy area, that won't do you any good unless you're actually giving him your full attention and you're watching him to make sure all of a sudden he doesn't squat and want to go to the bathroom. You need to be able to scoop him up, if you see that, and take him outside. I know this sounds challenging, but if you'll just follow my tips, within a short period of time, you'll have a successfully potty trained puppy. Remember, consistency, frequency, and a routine will help you succeed and will help you get there.